In 2014, the latest Flash TV show aired as a spin-off from Arrow, and it wasn't long before we had the Scarlet Speedster and the Emerald Archer teaming up with each other in a few crossovers. I mentioned that it was the latest Flash TV show because, as many of you may know, there was one in the early 90s that only lasted for one season. Interestingly, though, the original plan for that TV show also involved Green Arrow. Actually, two Green Arrows. <laughs> Welcome to a tie-in video, I'm Scott, that was a neat bumper, and we hardly ever talk about comic book movies and TV shows on this channel, but that ends today, my friends at least with this video. The current Flash TV show has been making a few references to its 90s counterpart, like how John Wesley Shipp, who played The Flash in the 90s show, now plays Barry's father on the current show. Or Amanda Pays and Mark Hamill reprising their roles as Dr. Tina McGee and The Trickster, respectively. But what I find interesting is that the 90s show was originally going to be something completely different. In an interview that I'll link to in the description below, Danny Bilson and Paul DeMio, the show's creators, revealed their original plan for the series. They proposed a series called Unlimited Powers. The premise of the show was that superpowers were outlawed. Anyone who used them would be sent to prison. The Flash was one of the heroes who didn't give up his powers, and in one way or another, ended up in suspended animation for 20 years. When he thaws out in the future, it appears that there aren't any supervillains anymore. But in reality, the show's reality, not our reality, the bad guys still exist. They're just running the world in business suits instead of costumes. Actually, this does sound a bit like our reality. Flash figures this out and gathers a ragtag team of superheroes, including a member of the Legion of Superheroes named Block, a super old DC character named Dr. Occult, who is a paranormal investigator and a magic wielder, and lastly, but not least, Green Arrow's daughter. You see, in the pilot episode, they had planned on introducing and then killing off Green Arrow, and his daughter would become the new Green Arrow in the future. The problem was that back then, it would have been way too expensive to have four heroes in one show. Heck, it was already expensive just having one one. That was one of the reasons why the 90s Flash show was canceled after just one season. Nowadays, you can have things like Legends of Tomorrow, which I have to admit, I am a little excited for. Bilson and DeMio recalled that all of their younger people working at CBS really wanted to make the Unlimited Powers pilot, but the senior management did not understand it. Or maybe they did and they were really the villains in suits controlling things. Nah, no, they just didn't understand it. I barely do, but the studio did like the character of The Flash, so they focused on creating a show solely about him. Still, it is pretty interesting to think that Flash and Green Arrow could have appeared together in a live action TV show all the way back in the distant era of the 90s. What do you guys think? Would you have liked to see the Unlimited Powers TV show? Do you think they could adapt a similar story in the Flash TV show or Possibly Legends of Tomorrow. Speaking of which, what do you guys think about Legend Legends of Tomorrow? Legends of Tomorrow, if I can use words right, what do you think about that? I'll, I'll definitely watch anything involving Arthur Darvel and time travel. So I'm on board. This video was a tie-in to a video I did earlier this week about Flash and time travel paradoxes. I'll link to it in the description if you want to check it out, if you haven't already, or if you want to watch it again. And that's, an all, that's also an option. And if this is your first time hanging out with us here at NerdSync, we make new videos every week that ask questions and examine comics beyond the surface because we believe that doing so can actually enhance your comic book reading experience and make comics just a little bit more awesome than they already are. So make sure you hit that big sexy subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, I'm Scott. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys on Monday for another episode of the NerdSync podcast that is available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Links in the description below. See ya.